amazing. Game Boy Advance SP NES Edition Limited. They only made a limited amount of these things. Huh. Someone send me a note or something with this? Who sent me this? Throw it away with the bag. This is one I used to have a table here. Oh, it's also a game. Frogger's Adventures for the Game Boy Advanced isn't really a bad game, but it does have a couple minor flaws, so we're gonna check that out today. After choosing your language and starting, I'm gonna choose new game. You're given the option to put in a name into one of the four slots. As you can see here, it only has three letters per slot. V, G, T, and yes, screw it. The story of Frogger's adventures is that the Elder Council is calling upon Frogger to save their swamp. I don't know exactly what's wrong with the swamp, but as you can see here, it's possessed by pink butterflies. Come on, pink butterflies, really? That's something you'd call the Ghostbusters in on, not Frogger. As far as other villains in this game, there's this weird orange guy looks like it's crossbred between Yoda and a monkey. Then there's this weird guy holding a sword and a shield. What is this? These aren't Frogger villains. Remember in the original Frogger the cars were your villains? Well now they have scary faces. What is this? I don't think this is Frogger. I really do think this is a possession game. Then you get this part where there's some dude's giant tan balls flying out of you. Thank god this isn't 3DS. Look, another possessed fly. What is that, a red coin? Let's see, can I eat the fly? No, oh, but I can jump directly into it, that's nice to know. The music in this game is pretty odd. It doesn't really sound like Frogger music, but it does sound familiar. Give it a listen. What the crap is that? Is that a countdown continue clock? They only give you a set amount of continues, why the heck would you need a countdown? Plus, not to mention, when you get a game over, you start at the beginning of the stage anyhow, so it's not like the checkpoints really mean anything. At least at the end of the level, they give you some nostalgia by having you jump into a cave like the older games. Look at that, level cleared. They give you different music, and that's just about it. That's nice. The second level literally looks like hell. Look at this. Fire, red stone, what happened to this? Did Frogger die? And why is he jumping weird and why are the platforms still eating? Look, more possessed pink butterflies. At least here it makes sense. Unlike the last level where it was mostly all platforming, this one has a bit of challenge. See, I'm avoiding spikes. Also, whenever you jump on a red coin, you're stuck on the red coin. You can't do anything about it until the area clears. Man, this game got boring. I honestly stopped caring about it a long time ago. Screw continuing. Game over. Video's done. I'm gonna go hang myself.